So team, we're gonna get through our grubber kicking now. So getting that ball rolling along the ground. I'm gonna talk about all different weights. What I always like to start with is the soccer ball because I think it teaches that rolling feel of the ball as well. So how it works, standing on one foot, I wanna have our nose over my plant foot toes. So that line there, my nose is forward rather than being back, breaking back all my weights sitting back. Once we've made impact with this ball, we're gonna come through contact with the ball, get the ball rolling and then roll forward onto that kicking leg so rather than hitting and stopping you want to make impact with the ball roll forward get through last thing your foot needs to be hard and locked up even though you're going to make contact with the ball with that slight knee bend because we're pushing the ball we're still looking for that locked out field so how does it look me and g one foot make impact with the ball balls rolling through to target nudge Nice and strong, balance, be happy staying on this plant foot. Strike, get the ball rolling, it's a really good way to practice it. As we get confident, we can do our left foot as well. So this is a really good way to develop that left foot grubber. Two more G. Nice, get that ball rolling consistently. So now we're getting confident with that, with a good strike. G can now go back 10 meters. So all we're looking for is, is not to try to get the ball elevated more. We just slightly get through that part of the, the kick a little bit harder. So that snap of the foot really comes through. Still trying to roll that ball forward with that hard foot. Good power. Again, still balanced. Momentum will get it there. Push through. Slightly hit the inside of my foot there. That's why the ball went left. So now in game, we can bring in a little bit of movement still using the soccer ball. So we'll talk about creating space, but I want to be able to take the ball sideways and then get into my grubber kick off both feet. So that's how this set works. Little lob to yourself, get sideways, find space, and be able to push that ball through, get it rolling. Pop to yourself, grubber through to target. Nudge G, try my left foot, little pop, sideways, grubber it through. So quite often we have to create that space in the defense, find little holes to push that ball through. Pop, dummy pass, grubber through. Great kick G. We've got the rugby ball now, so now same feeling, we want to try get the ball rolling. The way that we achieve that is I find having the ball leaning back slightly. So rather than a straight ball drop, we lean it back slightly, which means that our foot can knock the top of the ball and get it rolling forward. So back to the start, one foot drill, nice straight ball drop with it leaning back slightly so it's in line, knock the top of the ball off. Through to target. Same thing, I'm trying to land on that foot after I've made impact. Body weight forward, nose over toes, knock the top of the ball off, grub it through. Great nudge, G. Whee! Two to go. There's all different ways to hold a grubber, so quite often you talk about catching the ball to spiral past the ball and keeping that same hand position. It means that I can drop the ball down, slight rotation and knock the top off. I think it's really good to be able to kick the ball from all different scenarios, straight hands, uh, spiral passing hands. So it's a good one to practice. Catch the ball, about to pass the ball, and then getting into your grubber. Yay! Great kick, G. Let's try another one of those. I've caught the ball from my inside back, dummy. Push the ball through. Got a little bit too much height on that one rather than the ball rolling. Got in the air a little bit too early. We really want to try and get it to the ground. Kick G. Last one. Catch. Dummy pass to the ground. Good. Get it rolling straight away. 
So now we're doing a set of grubbers just using the post as our target. I think this is really good. We're going to go from 20 meters, 30 meters, and then back to 40 meters. What it's mean is I'm going to have to uh, change how much weight I'm putting through the kick. Ideally, I want to see this ball popping up as it's going over the try line so that a chasing player is getting that nice ball just popping up. That way we can judge the weight, get it to pop up, score some tries. So nice and square catch, that's really important that I'm square to the try line rather than drif drifting straight away. What you'll see me do is catch, get a little shift so that I can find that space through the defense to put through that grubber. LG. Oh, crossbar. Yo, G. Little dummy. Dummy. Yo, G. So a little bit more distance now. The tendency is to probably rush things and, and get through it. All I need to bring is just slightly more leg speed, really get that nice flick of the knee, hard foot up the back of the ball. Same target though, still want to try get that ball popping up on that goal line. Just a little bit more thud behind the ball, around about 30 metres. Yo, G. Pop. Good pass, G. Strike. A little bit too much footwork. Simple footwork pit. Struck. Nice little dummy. Struck. Turn, get there. So this one's slightly wider, it's about 40, 45 metres. This one's really for when you're pushing the ball through, maybe looking to roll it into touch. So I want to get after this kick and really get some weight behind it. For me, that, that grip that really works for this kick is when I am looking to spiral the ball on and able to guide the ball down to my foot so I can really get through it. Um, so you'll see me using that, that style of, of grubber here. Yo, G. I just feel with that style you can get a little bit more leg swing through it and really get through the ball, especially when you're wanting it to roll out. Sneak through. Good pass, G. Yep. Last one. Same again, little dummy. Turn. Oi. Hey. 